Hello, everyone. My name is Moz Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another income idea. But before we go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only and shouldn't be taken as personalized investment advice. Investing comes with risk. To read more about it, please see the description below. And if you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you could head directly to www.incomeinvestors.com. While you're there, you could also sign up for some free reports that we offer to our readers and they get delivered to your inbox. Things are looking up for today's top income pick. Has Midstream LP traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol HESM? Crude oil prices have been bullish in the back half of 2023 on the heels of record demand and OPEC production cut. In June, oil was trading near 67 per barrel, but by late September had rallied near $95 per barrel. Oil, oil had slipped then to around $85.50 per barrel, but World Bank has warned that major escalation in the Israel-Hamas war could send oil to $157 per barrel. JP Morgan, meanwhile, echoes the sentiment saying Brent oil could potentially hit $150 per barrel in 2026. Whether it's near-term or long-term outlook, Hess Midstream is ready to take advantage of both market stance and potential weakness and inherent volatility. John, why is that? Thanks, Mo. Unlike most energy companies, the partnership is a midstream company that's on the receiving end of 85% fixed fee revenue-based contracts to gather, process, move, store, and export crude oil and natural gas. The partnership owns, operates, develops, and acquires oil and gas and water midstream assets in the prolific North Dakota back in the shale region. Hess Midstream provides its strategic infrastructure asset services to Hess Corp and a number of global third parties. As a result, the company's bottom line isn't susceptible to fluctuations in oil and gas prices so much. Hess Midstream is like a toll keeper that collects money whether the company's clients use its pipeline or not. On top of that, minimum volume commitments or MVCs provide the partnership with downside protection. It that contracts, uh, which it sets on a rolling three or forward basis, which are sent or pay cannot be adjusted downward once set, and any shortfall payments are made quarterly. Uh, Hess Midstream LP locks in its customers to long-term contracts. Its commercial contracts extend through 2033 uh, right now. Its fees are set annually for all future years in the initial term to achieve contractual returns on capital deployed. On top of that, the partnership's fees escalate each year based on the Consumer Price Index or CPI. Now, this provides Hess Midstream with reliable growing cash flow, and opportunities to expand his business and provide accretive financial gains to buy and hold HESM shareholders. And John, I have to ask this question. How will the big acquisition of Hess Corp that recently happened affect Hess Midstream? Good question. In late October, which is you know just a week or so ago, a Chevron Corporation announced a definitive agreement to acquire Hess Corporation in a deal valued at $53 billion. The strategic combination is expected to grow production and free cash flow faster and for longer than Chevron's current five-year guidance. This is important news because Hess Corporation uses Hess Midstream's infrastructure. And the big question, of course, is how will the mega deal impact Hess Midstream partners? Uh, so far, Chevron has not said whether it will purchase Hess Midstream or not. Uh, again, for now, Hess Midstream contracts with Hess are intact through 2033. That said, selling Hess Midstream would bring Chevron close to its asset sale target. Then again, Given Exxon Mobil's uh, recent $60 billion mega merger with Pioneer Natural Resources and Chevron's acquisition history, it could acquire Hess Midstream too. Uh, Hess Corporation actually owns 37.8 of Hess Midstream, which Chevron will acquire with the deal. It makes sense that Chevron would add Hess Midstream to its portfolio. After all, Hess Midstream is responsible for supporting Hess Corporation's crucial operations in the back end. It also supports many third party customers too. Now, there are some precedents to go back on. In October 2020, Chevron acquired Noble Energy. Fast forward a few months to March 2021, it acquired Noble Midstream Partners. Noble Midstream Partners supports Noble Energy in the Permian Basin and the DGA Basin. Uh, snapping up Hess Midstream could give Chevron more control over the back end. Time will tell. Until then, there's no reason to not take advantage of Hess Midstream's reliable growing high yield dividend. I imagine a strong financial results could help persuade Chevron. Oh, absolutely. For the third quarter ended September 30th, Hess Midstream announced that net income increased 3.3% year over year to $160, roughly $5 million. Now, after deductions for non-controlling interest, net income attributable to Hess Midstream was $35.3 million or $0.50 cents per share. 
That's compared to 53 cents per share in the third quarter of 2022. Net cash from operating activities was strong at 215.5 million. For dividend hogs, distributable cash flow grew 4.3% to 224.1 million, while adjusted free cash flow advanced 4.5% to 162.7 million. Now, on the face level, these strong financials forced management to raise its operational and financial guidance for the second time this year for gas gathering, gas processing, and crude terminals throughput volumes. Now compared with the midpoint from the prior guidance range, Hess now expects to report net income of $615 million, adjusted EBITDA of around a billion, distributable cash flow of around $845 million, and adjusted free cash flow of around $635 million. This is an exciting part. This company increased its quarterly distribution for third time in 2023. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks to a strong cash flow generation, Hess Midstream has been able to raise its quarterly distribution on a regular basis actually for years. In October, uh, it declared a quarterly cash distribution of 0.6175 per share or $2.37 per share on an annual basis for a yield of 7.96%. This represents a 2.7% increase over the 0.6011 payout in the previous quarter and then big at 9.7% increase over the 0.5627 paid out in the same period last year. Hess Midstream, again, has actually raised its dividend almost every quarter since it went public in 2017. John, thank you so much for your analysis. The energy sector was the biggest winner in 2021 and 2022, and 2023 is shaping up to be another great year too. And Hess Midstream Partners LP has been one of the industry's biggest winners. As already pointed out, 100% of its free-based contracts minimize commodity price exposure, 85% of its revenue is protected by minimum volume commitments, while three-year minimum volume commitments and annual fee increase are based on CPI escalations. So it doesn't really matter how the economy does this year or what the price of oil and gas is. Its cash flow is protected and growing. This helps explain how Hess Midstream been able to grow its EBITDA every year since it formed in 2015, through two oil price downturns. This also explains how it's been able to increase its distribution for the last six years and counting. That's it for today. We'll be back with another video soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.